Is it time for step one? Okay, step one. On this step, you already have the MP3 to listen to, and you have the worksheet printed. Printed is very important if we want to um, benefit from the method and the practice. Every single part has a purpose. Printing it out makes it possible for you, no matter where you're at, to focus on the words and the phrases that you need most work on whenever you're listening to the MP3. All right, the first step. I don't know how well you can see, but underneath every line is your native language. You'll also notice that it's broken into pieces or phrases or chunks. This chunking is the way that your right brain thinks in short phrases. An idea comes to mind and it's expressed as a short phrase. Now, over time, we connect them together and we connect them well, or we sometimes even correct them into full sentences. So that's what we particularly want to focus on. Not letters, not words, not sentences, but phrases. Anyway, um, this first step, when we're learning a new story, a new song, we want to learn with meaning. As I grew up, I learned many foreign songs. They were just fun to sing and they were popular in our American culture. But many of them, to this day, I do not understand a word I'm singing. I quickly learn uh, through song, uh, French, uh, Frère Jacques, Dormez-vous, almost perfect pronunciation, but I don't know what I'm saying. We definitely want to get past that with song. And in any case, it makes for much better and much deeper learning, experiential learning, if we can imagine a story, possibly even imagine ourselves in the story. And the more detail, the more that you know about the story that you're reading and singing, the better. So, for instance, after I've read it in my native language two or three times and listened the song while you're doing that, then, and you don't have to come to class for this, but then you would imagine what you're seeing as exactly as you can. So, Puff the Magic Dragon Lived by the Sea. Now, this dragon is a rather fat dragon in my mind. Um, I don't see big teeth, but he's green. He does have a... a like a dinosaur bones on his back. Um, I think he has painted toenails and by the sea, but mostly in the woods. And no, there's no, it's not like he's got dots on him, but it's like age spots. Like me, as I get older, getting like freckles. And frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Now that almost sounds um, Irish to me, but I'm thinking this is like a never, never land, like an imaginary land. Well, duh, George. So anyway, that's what you want to do is after you've reviewed it a couple of times in your native language, then go ahead and imagine the story in your head. And every time you sing, try to capture a little bit of that imagery in your head. It's an easy step, so you shouldn't complain. And and it also should be fun. Uh, you remember imagination and um, daydreaming? We're, we're doing daydreaming with a purpose. And it helps our English, so. I guess we'll catch you a little bit later for the next step. Bye-bye.